Back now with a local church facing a serious financial crisis and forced to close its doors. But to the neighborhood, it is much more than a place of worship. After 139 years, St. Paul's Episcopal Church on 34th Street in Newport News will hold its final service in two weeks. But it's what's happening this weekend that can put a bigger strain on the people of a community as a whole. Penny, your side, Stephanie Harris has more for us tonight. St. Paul's Episcopal Church is the victim of shrinking, a shrinking downtown Newport News, and the shrinking number of people who are actually attending churches anywhere in America. I think it's a beautiful old structure. It needs a lot of love in spots, and, and it's making me really sad to see it close. St. Paul's is a treasure trove of antique floors, church pews, and Tiffany stained glass. During the Depression, the women of the church raised, I think it was like $5,500, to commission that window. A hundred years ago, there were hundreds of people sitting in these pews. Now, Father Bruce Cheney sees about a dozen members on any given Sunday. We're just another sign of the times of churches um, getting fewer people. Fewer for Sunday services, but more and more showing up at the door for other services. Donna Casella and Wayne Wheeler help serve 1,200 meals a month from this kitchen. My last day is tomorrow. They serve mostly alcoholics, drug addicts, and those just out of prison. It is sad um, because I worry about, you know, uh, the people who, who are in this downtown area. Wheeler has been spreading the word. There are other places to get help and to give it. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. It's my, it's my calling. <laughs> Still, it's hard to accept. We're leaving a hole. It sucks. Am I allowed to say that on television? He told his parishioners, as one door closes, another opens. The diocese is sending him north to Denby, where much of the population has migrated. So Cheney will walk forward in faith and something else. Yeah, there's guilt. I don't like it. Don't, don't like it a bit. St. Paul's will serve its last meal here this coming Sunday. The last church service is scheduled for Sunday the 26th at 1030 in the morning. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.